Wanda! Come! Qu quick! Oh, no. You have no idea what you've done. Poor Marta. She had what we call Gatrot, a nice name for a horrible affliction. She should have sent you with a message rather than coming all this way. Now she's dead and given us Gatrot as a parting gift. Make up for bringing her here in the first place. Do what I would have done were I not sick. Go to Pilgrim's Cave. Harvest a Ganofungus that grows on the creatures that live there and bring it to me. You damned fool. You'll make the gut rot worse. I have a shift to finish your own. Unless you mean to feed my children, I'll do what I must. Time to do that. I'm not ready yet.
I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. Look out! Greetings. I'm not ready yet.
time. Steps upon the scales. <sighs> Did you walk from here to Pilgrim's Cave? The medicinal brew is ready. Mix in the Gano fungus and then distribute it to the others. Jana and Fennec are worse off than I am. Sure to drink it all, Jana. All of it. Not in town. Your problem is no more. do that here. <coughs> well, that is unfortunate. Why can't you keep it down? In all likelihood, the vermin are stronger than the fungus. <coughs> Damn it. 
You'll have to seek out Zurk. He's the only one who might have an answer. He'll need an offering. Take the werewolf head, nailed to the village gate. He makes his home in... Corpse well, Deloge. Make the offering. Light the torches. Get me a cure. Ugh. It's a nasty business. Swamp vermin find a way into you. Eyes, ears, nose. Then swim down into your gut and lay eggs. As the eggs hatch and feed on you, the pain swells and the fever rises until they're large enough to... Ugh. Like a bird out of a soft egg. It is... Ugh. Revolting. Stomach churning. <laughs> Only that we have managed to avoid him in Wejinhani. He is a strange man, with bizarre fascinations, even for the swamp. My mother said he aided us once, but required uh, a dead thief's severed hands in payment. Now, please. He has children to feed, he says, and refused my advice to rest. Who will feed those children when their father dies of his own stupidity? I don't know. chase away another Zakarum missionary today. They visit here, ply the children with sweets to wash the taste of ashes out of their mouths. I've seen what their light brings. The Zakarum's fervor drove them to burn down my village. I know there's a ledger there of what happened. I want to... I need to find it. I could show the children and the town why we must never let in the missionaries. Can you take me there and help me recover the ledger? Yes. How do we stop the tide of hell? I've been meaning to do this for some time, but... I dread the destination. The younger folks in Vajinhani don't understand why we keep the priests out. I saw the paladins of the Zakarum light the fires that burned the town from within. That burned Eriman. I brought some herbs that Thaisa asked for, but she's already up and left. Something off her about her of late. I hear her screaming at night. Weeping too. It's not like her. Can you find her? And deliver the herbs? Yes.
I'm not ready yet. Jinhani's always been fine without me. It must be truly dire to send you, huh? I'd guess someone's near to dying. <laughs> Look, you brought a gift. Never thought those villagers capable. <sighs> you wins, but the smell. Well, the smell is good. Heavy with secrets. <sighs> Not heavy enough to save anyone. I don't mind helping you, but I need something else. Get the eyes out of Nuroth the Vile Fang's head. No promises, but I'll try. Do you ask painters why they're interested in pigment, or, or sculptors why they like rocks? Of course not! Death, rot. The villagers think I'm low for my obsession, but I understand what they're always ignoring. The way the flesh frays when you're near the end. If she were here, I could guess. But she isn't. Anything the villagers would make. If she's not dead yet, this'll kill off anything wriggling in her gut.
was... Uh, what was in that? Light, don't tell me. But... Uh, I, I can feel... Uh, they're moving less. Uh, the pain subsiding. If Calf had listened to me, we lost him. He had the good sense to die without infecting anyone. Little though it may comfort his children. Make Zurk explain this remedy to me. Did he tell you how to make it so potent? I'll have to go knocking on his door, won't I? And no head to smooth the way. Before that, however, I'll rest. Nearly dying is exhausting. I was here, all those years ago, just a child. I can still smell the cooked flesh. Please, a word. The ledger that shows the true face of the Zakarum is here. I hoped to do this myself, but I... I can't. All the memories... I'm sorry. But after I catch my breath, I will return to Vajin Hani. The screams have summoned a witch. This Eriman claims he wants to protect these people, but his sins damn them all. His fire will be the first if we are to save this wicked place. behind their kindness. Witches live among them. They only play at welcoming us. And all the while they work toward dark ends. I'm not ready yet.
My neighbors, I beg you. The burnings must stop. The Zaka rule is not breeding the land of heretics. They are destroying the people who have loved and protected you for generations. It is we, the witches of the swamp, who hold the darkness at bay. Burning us will bring no light to Hawazar. <laughs> Only fire can purge this grand corruption, cauterizing the wound. The whole town will be boiled in the pits if the vile witches will not show themselves. I need more time. You cannot throw a stone without hitting an accomplice of the witches of Hawazar. None will renounce this hateful faith, even with the clarity of pain. I don't care if it's ground up plants or magic swamp water they're using. You see now how they let fear into their hearts, turned against each other. What the Inquisition wrought for these people? Fire and death. Too many have forgotten. But now, the Zakarum won't be able to outlive their crimes. Thank you. <laughs> 